Sleep can be tricky when you're pregnant. In those early months, you're probably sleepy or sleeping all the time. But as your baby grows, you both are going to need more sleep, but you may also have a difficult time getting it. Whether it's a hard time finding the right position, maybe it's heartburn or other physical discomfort, maybe it's anxiety about how your life is gonna change. Either way, those later weeks of pregnancy are an exercise in just getting sleep however and whenever you can. Today, we're gonna give you five tips you can use right now to help you get some better sleep while you're pregnant. Hi everyone, I'm Adria. Losing sleep is an inevitable reality of becoming a new parent. And unfortunately, some of those sleep troubles start before the baby is even born. But don't worry, if you're finding that you're struggling to sleep, know that you're not alone and there are many ways to get the sleep you need. Before we look at how to improve your sleep, we need to understand how sleep changes during pregnancy. As your body undergoes these drastic shifts in hormone levels, composition, and nutrient needs, you may find that sleeping needs may be changing as well. Some symptoms caused by pregnancy might be getting in the way of deep, healthy sleep. Nausea and vomiting, increased heart rate, and shortness of breath can prevent a good night's rest or cause you to wake up in the middle of the night. Body aches, breast tenderness, leg cramping, and frequent urination during the night can also create less than ideal conditions for getting uninterrupted sleep. If all of this sounds familiar to you, know that you're not alone. There are many ways that you can make small changes to your bedtime routine to impact the amount and quality of your sleep. Here are five tips to get you started. Number one. Find the most comfortable sleeping position for your changing body. Many people often find that they have to change the way they sleep during pregnancy. While before you may have been most comfortable sleeping on your back or stomach, you may find that either position no longer works for you. Many people recommend sleeping on your left side with your knees bent, but try experimenting with different positions until you find one that's right for you. Number two, change your sleeping environment. Now we don't mean painting the walls or getting started on those new bedroom renovations, but instead, try adding or removing bedding to make your bed an ideal place for you. If you find yourself heating up more throughout the night, try removing a blanket or swapping your duvet for a lighter, cooler one. Also, more pillows can help make you more comfortable. Try adding a pillow between your legs, behind your back, or under your abdomen. Adding a pillow under your upper back and head can help reduce shortness of breath, increase blood flow, and prevent swelling. And if you haven't tried one of those pregnancy pillows yet, Give them a shot. They can provide all around support for your body throughout the night. And if your mattress isn't quite as firm as you need, you can always use a mattress topper or a bunkie board to increase your bed's firmness. Number three, consider what you're eating and drinking throughout the day. You may have changed your diet significantly during pregnancy, but there are a few additional considerations to keep in mind when it comes to sleep. Avoid things like carbonated drinks, citrus, tomatoes, and spicy or fatty foods as these can all increase your risk of acid reflux. Also, eat more frequent and smaller meals throughout the day as opposed to three larger ones. And stop eating three to four hours before bed. Also, don't drink liquids within two hours of going to bed. This can help reduce the amount of times you're running to the bathroom and help you sleep soundly throughout the night. Number four, keep track of how you're sleeping. With all the changes you're going through with your sleep, it's important to keep track of what's working for you and what's not. Try using a sleep tracker. These can help monitor how long and how well you're sleeping, as well as other helpful data about your sleep so that you can make changes accordingly. They also come in all shapes and sizes. You can wear them on your body or you can place them under your bed or pillow. You may even find that a device you already own, like your watch or your phone, can track your sleep as well. Alternatively, you can also try keeping a journal. Checking in with yourself daily about how you're feeling, your energy level, and your mood is a great way to track the quality of your sleep as well as your overall health. And finally, number five, listen to your body. This is critical now more than ever as your body is progressing through all these changes. You may find that you're feeling tired earlier than you used to, or maybe even just tired in general throughout the day. The most important thing is don't try to push through it. If you're tired, it means your body needs some rest. Try going to bed earlier so you can get all the sleep that you need. Or try taking a nap or even a few naps throughout the day. Just make sure you keep them around 30 minutes so they don't interfere with your sleep at night. If you feel like you've tried everything and you're still not getting the sleep that you need, look out for some of the more common sleep disorders that can accompany pregnancy. 
things like obstructive sleep apnea, restless leg syndrome, and gastroesophageal reflux disorder are fairly normal disorders. We encourage you to bring any consistent sleep interruptions to your doctor if you're having trouble sleeping well throughout the night. Sleep hygiene is especially important when pregnant, and a routine each night can help cue your body that it's time for sleep. Figuring out how to sleep during pregnancy can be daunting, but making it a priority can make a world of difference for you and baby. If you want some tips on how to get the best sleep after your baby arrives, check out our video on how new parents can get great sleep too. Thanks for watching everyone, sleep well.